Jamal, do you think uh, Canelo's move to 168 means that he don't want no smoke at 160? He's scared. Where you at, Cinnamon? We've been calling you out for a long time. It's that time to show up. Show up. Give the people what they want to see. Well, the NBF season continues. As the European assassin Canelo Alvarez is aiming to become the undisputed European pound for pound number one king, where Canelo Alvarez is officially fighting Bivolt come May 7th. Now, shockingly, Canelo Alvarez turned down more than 100 million guaranteed plus pay per view, which means after the pay per view, Canelo could have made nearly 200 million to fight Charlo and David Benavidez. Ultimately, these are Canelo's biggest fights in terms of money and legacy. But we all know Canelo doesn't fight for either. Canelo fights to make up history. Now, even though we all know Canelo is the pioneer of the NBF league in the sport of boxing, even then, the top of money Al Heyman offered Canelo Alvarez to fight Charlo and Benavidez, it would have turned a duck into an eagle. I mean, that type of money could have performed a magic trick on anyone but Canelo Alvarez. That type of money would have gave a horse wings to fly, but it couldn't give Canelo cojones to face his fear in Charlo and Benavidez. So I hate to tell you I told you so, but I told you so. Canelo wants to go down in history as a fighter that has completed a decade of ducking his rivals in Charlo and Andre. Furthermore, Canelo will be fighting Bivolt come May, Gennady Golovkin come September, and Makabu or Ryder come December, according to his new deal structure. Now there is no telling when it comes to the other cherry picks, but one thing for sure and two things for certain, the Bivolt fight for Canelo Alvarez is a dangerous cherry pick that may go wrong. This is one cherry that will bite back, that will strike back, that is not gonna fold like Avini, Rocky Fielding, and even Makabu. See, Canelo is such a flawed fighter that it doesn't require a Charlo and Andre to beat him. Bivolt could beat him. This fight could end up becoming a cherry pick going wrong, just like Teofimo Lopez versus Combosis. But the million dollar question, will Bivolt even get the decision? Or would Canelo win the usual way, by robbery, like he did against Gennady Golovkin and Lara? I mean, there's no secret, Canelo has the judges' scorecards in his pocket. With the truth being spoken and the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one.